good morning everyone today i will discuss uh, i am dr geeta gupta professor microbiology today i will take the class as your first class of the lecture for see a new uh, 2020 batch mbbs and this is the today topic is the introduction morphology classification including the disease which is caused by the various bacteria parasite fungus and virus today topic i will discuss about this only and the learning objective behind this lecture is the in this lecture i will cover the morphology of bacteria parasite fungus and viruses along with this to in this lecture i will cover the classification of bacteria parasite fungus and viruses also along with the disease caused by the various microbes that some brief uh, about the uh, introductory thing uh, will be given in this or cover in this lecture also and you know today word is the word of microbes and microbes include the bacteria parasite fungus viruses spirochetes mycoplasma tickettia and chlamydia and the microorganism are so much small in size you can't see with the eye and you need a some aid like microscope and the bacteria and fungus and parasite is expressed in size around micrometer and viruses size is measured in the nanometer but some of the parasite size could be up to the meter also like tinea and this is the picture of micro uh, microscope where you can see the uh different microbes and can identify the different organism also and this is the picture which is showing the various uh, bacteria and the according to their arrangement and gram uh, strain interpretation the first picture is the staphylococcus aureus bacteria which is the gram positive cocci in cluster another is the streptococcus pyogenes which is the gram positive gram positive means the organism when you do the gram staining they will take the color violet and they will appear under the microscope in oil immersion lens as violet color uh, uh, and also the arrangement can be seen on the gram stain along with the uh, result of the gram stain uh, gram stain reaction can be seen and the gram uh, streptococcus pyogenes is the cocci which is seen in chains and the number of cocci cocci means spherical uh, structure hota hai jo that can be seen and spherical cocci can be seen in a number of the 10 to 15 cocci per chain that organism could be provisionally streptococcus pyogenes also although the other species of streptococcus could be there but the most commonest one is the streptococcus pyogenes and another picture are showing rod shaped bacilli along with the some uh, capsulated organism you can see here this is the clapsilla nimoni picture and the some of the other bacteria uh, images are also shown in this and this is the picture which is showing the various fungus and the lower one is the picture which is showing the aspergillus species where you can see the aseptate hyphae along with the conidia which is the vesicle and vesicle is a round structure on which the conidia are arranged you can see and this can be the lpcb mount picture and also seen under the microscope and another is a picture of the various parasite where you can see the parasite in small in size along with the largest parasite tinea is shown with the segment also and uh, this is the picture which is showing the various viruses uh, like hiv hepatitis b influenza virus rabies virus bacteriophage rota virus papilloma virus and now emerging virus you know from the last two years is Uh, have to uh, the whole of the world is facing the problem because of the corona that you also know and the now the bacterial size bacterial size is around 0.2 to 3.3 uh, micrometer in thickness along to, uh, with the 2 to 5 micrometer in length and the fungus size is uh, fungus are actually the uh, round shape structure or uh, that you can see the yeast cell form and also where there is a cylindrical thread like structure which is the hyphal form and that size is around 2 to 10 micrometer yeast form size is around 4 to micrometer in size and parasites are vary in size from micrometer to few millimeter to meter in size 
that could be very uh, from various size varies from the various parasite like amoeba could be in the uh, micrometer size or uh, like entamoeba histolytica and uh, along with this the size could be in meter like tinea as i already told to you they can be seen uh, the microbes can be seen easily under the microscope but some can be seen like some parasite can be seen with the unaided eye also now first of all is the bacterial taxonomy or classification the bacteria are arranged into taxonomic group based on the their biochemical properties physiological uh, properties genetic composition and morphological properties also and the so for on these properties the various classification is proposed to classify the bacteria and the nomenclature of bacteria that is naming they bacteria are usually named according to their characteristic like gram positive cocci in cluster found they are named as to be staphylococcus and the whole of the genus can be like this an identification of unknown taxon by comparing with a defined and unidentified taxon and to isolate and identify the causative agent of disease also this is the another one feature that can be used in the classification the bacterial classification are uh, so many but the most accepted one the cavalier and smith six kingdom classification that is proposed in 1998 and in this classification this one is the most accepted classification and it divides living structure into six kingdom like bacteria protozoa chromista plant fungus and animalia this is the various taxonomic classification from linnaeus to the cavalier smith classification and uh, the cavalier smith classification is the uh, the kingdom bacteria all those uh, various kingdom are there the kingdom bacteria are is divided into phylum class order suborder family tribe genus and species also in the last and the various principle which are used to classify the bacteria mainly having the three approach but first is the phylogenetic approach second is the adansonian uh, approach and third is the molecular approach to classify uh, the bacteria the phylogenetic classification is like a branch tree arrangement and this is the hierarchical classification in the we can uh, go like the at the end you have the some branches that whole of the classification is like bacteria and bacteria include the gram positive gram negative gram negative uh, could be gram positive cocci bacilli and that we can further on be class uh, have to be differentiated into various genera like uh, uh, the uh, cyanobacteria other um, genus also and this way whole of the bacterial kingdom is further uh, classify and the phylogenetic classification it is based on the certain characteristic of bacteria and is the easiest to remember like morphology if we divide the bacteria into two uh, on the basis of shape there could be the cocci that is the spherical one and bacilli which is rod shaped bacteria the easiest to remember and we can have the most easiest approach to remember the most of the bacteria and, and when you go for the bacteriology systemic bacteriology we'll discuss the bacteria various genus of the bacteria on the basis of morphology also and another is the staining property that is the gram positive and gram negative bacteria on the basis of gram reaction and also the culture characteristic on the mcconkey agar media we can classify the bacteria into two group that is the lactose fermenter and another is the non lactose fermenter lactose fermenter actually give the pink color colony on the mcconkey agar and non lactose fermenter give the Uh, pale color or pale or yellow color colony on the mcconkey agar so on this ways we can classify the bacteria into two group and another biochemical property on the basis we can classify the bacteria like coagulase test coagulase test is important to classify the staphylococcus genera into two uh, group that is the coagulase positive staphylococcus species and coagulase negative staphylococcus species antigenic structure all the various antigen are present into the bacteria and like uh, capsular antigen somatic antigen flagellar antigen fimbrial antigen 
and the bacteria can be easily classify on the presence of the somatic antigen also uh, that could be the important one and so in salmonella this is uh, when we discuss the salmonella bacteria the somatic antigen based classification is be discussed there for salmonella genus also and the morphology bacteria i already told to you is there could be spherical shape and the rod shape or could be the uh, spiral form also and uh, on these basis it could be the co coccus bacillus on the basis of spiral shape it could be the spirillum or spirochies and uh, adansonian or phenetic classification this is the second one and it is proposed by the adanson in 1774 it classify the organism giving equal weight to every character here the every character has the importance and it is uh, the use numeric algorithm like cluster analysis rather than subjective evaluation another third classification is the molecular classification for the bacteria it is actually based on the degree of genetic relatedness of the different organism like how much uh, similar to the organism uh, isolate like which gen, uh, isolate which is coming into the laboratory from any sample which is um, is more uh, easier or closer to the which genera that we can identify on the basis of guanine and cytosine contain of the bacteria that is estimated after extracting dna from pure bacterial culture and it is concerned with uh, designating scientific name to taxa and based on binomial nomenclature which is proposed by the carolus linnaeus which the swedish botanist and this the most uh, uh, commonest one which is used and the binomial nomenclature for the organism it is based for like especially for the bacteria the two component are important first one is the in naming in any organism or any bacteria the first uh, genus name and then second will be the species name like staphylococcus aureus the first staphylococcus is the genus name and aureus is the species which is uh, based on the some property of the pigment production by the organism of staphylococcus bacteria that it produces the yellow color Uh, and that is on the nutrient agar golden yellow pigment it can give so on this basis the species is staphylococcus means grape like or uh, organic cocci found in cluster that is the staphylococcus itself word indicate and aureus is the golden yellow pigment which is produced by the staphylococcus bacteria and usually the organism name staphylococcus aureus for example is written in the italic or underline form as shown on the slide also like this underline is staphylococcus aureus have to be written in this way and another is the taxonomic name uh, some of the bacterial name has been changed after the taxonomic classification which uh, the organism is given to the new name like clostridium difficile which is now named as the clostridis difficile and so, uh, so many bacteria are again named like enterobacter aerogens uh, which is the gram negative bacilli again name new name of this organism is the klebsiella aerogens and some of the fungus are also named new name is given to them uh, like the penicillia marnefi this is now named as the telleromyces marnefi and so many organism of the parasite also named new name is given like isospora belli which is the protozoan and and the name or new name of this organism is the cytoisospora belli now the bacterial isolate which is coming from the uh, laboratory samples they have to be uh, uh, first of all is identified by the biochemical tests and the by various Uh, properties where various character on the media and they can be further uh, confirmed by or have to be in the laboratory for managing the quality system we have to have the some type collection uh, type cultures in the laboratory also and atcc that is the american type culture collection from usa is most commonest one and nctc that is the national collection of type culture from uk 
is the second one which is used and atcc is the most commonest uh, type culture which are used in laboratory to managing the quality management system in microbiology laboratory now bacterial infection medically important to main based on the gram stain that is gram positive cocci and bacilli gram negative cocci and bacilli and miscellaneous bacteria also Gra this is the gram positive cocci list which is the staphylococcus species the staphylococcus coagulase positive and coagulase negative staphylococcus and strep uh, streptococcus species like streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus viridens enterococcus streptococcus pneumoniae also gram negative cocci nigeria which is the commonest one uh, genus and nigeria meningitis and nigeria gonorrhea is the gram negative cocci gram positive bacilli like corini bacterium diphtheri causative agent of diphtheria bacillus bacillus anthracis which is the causative agent of the anthrax and mycobacterium tuberculosis which is the causative agent for the tuberculosis and uh, gram negative bacilli is a long list enterobacteriaceae non fermenting gram negative bacilli vibrio fastidious gram negative bacilli like hemophilus and miscellaneous uh, another category that includes the other genus also like campylobacter helicobacter or the gram negative bacilli anaerobic bacterial uh, or anaerobes which are the commonest one is the clostridium whole of the genus different species of clostridia that can cause the anaerobic bacterial infection and there is the sporing group of the or sporing anaerobes you can say and non sporing anaerobes include the peptostreptococcus bacteroides uh, and privetola these are the genus which belongs to the non sporic anaerobes and the miscellaneous bacteria are like the spirochis which is the spiral coil bacteria and the rickettsia and the chlamydia mycoplasma are the genus which have the some uh, property specific property but although they are closer to the bacteria now the in the general parasitology as a parasite you know is the living organism which resides on the uh, organism which gives them nutrients or shelter without giving any benefit to the uh, uh, host itself they are, actually the parasite jo hai they uh, remain inside the body of the host and they harm actually to the host and harm uh, host doesn't get any benefit uh, due to the presence of parasite and the medical parasite uh, cytology is the study of animal parasite which infect and produce disease in the human being parasite can be classified into the ectoparasite and endoparasite ectoparasite inhabit the surface of body of host without penetrating into the tissue like ticks fleas they serve as a important vector and infection produced by the parasite uh, such parasite which remain as ectoparasite is termed as the infestation endoparasite which reside inside the body of host like leishmania endoparasite and the invasion which is by the endoparasite is termed as the infection endoparasite are further classified into two group, uh, uh, phylum that is the protozoa and helminths protozoa again have the Uh, uh classification and the classification we can classify into the protozoan into amoeba flagellate epicomplexa and miscellaneous protozoans also amoeba like example ant amoeba stolitica flagellate like giardia trichomonas epicomplexa have the malarial parasite opportunistic coccidian parasite group like isospora cyclospora cryptosporidium toxoplasma and the miscellaneous protozoan like balantidium coli and blastocystis also and the medically important protozoan helminths that includes uh, the cystodes tinea echinococcus hymenolepsis nana trematode or flukes it includes the cystosoma fasciola hepatica and paragonismus these are the trematode example intestinal nematode include the trichuris entrobius ascaris strongylides ankylostoma and somatic nematode include the filarial nematode draconculus and trichinella these are the pictures of the different intestinal protozoan and the other helminths is shown in the second image uh, the ascaris pinworm hookworm 
and the dwarf tapeworm these are the helminths now life cycle of parasites is depends on the three factor host mode of transmission and infective form host is the on which the parasite reside and then host could be definitive host and intermediate host definitive host is the host where the parasite undergoes the sexual cycle and intermediate host where the parasite undergoes the asexual cycle life cycle of parasite in uh, direct simple life cycle and indirect life cycle direct cy life cycle is the which life cycle where parasite requires only one one host an indirect uh, life cycle is where parasite uh, indirect life cycle is the where parasite requires the two host an infective form is the morphological form of parasite an infection could be auto infection by the self jo hai uh, uh, auto infection by the reverse parasitosis or internal auto infection could be possible and the life cycle of para protozoan parasite is shown in the some of the example of the mode of transmission along with the host is shown in this table and also in this table and helminthic parasite we'll discuss or cover these parasite in detail when the uh, we'll go through the system by approach or discuss the individual parasite also in detail now the mycology mycology uh, is the branch which deals with the study of medically important fungus fungus is derived from the greek word mykes meaning the mushrooms fungus differ from bacteria into certain characteristic also uh, like eukaryote uh, the fungus are the eukaryote and possess the eukaryotic cell organelles and the bacteria are the prokaryote when fungus possess a rigid cell wall which is made up of the chitin beta glucan and other polysaccharide cell membrane of the fungus contains the ergosterol instead of the cholesterol they may be unicellular or multicellular organism they lack the chlorophyll and divide by asexual as well as the sexual means now the classification of fungus fungus can be classified into morph on the basis of morphology morphological form of fungus could be yeast form or the hyphal form yeast is the round to oval cell that reproduce by the budding that is the cryptococcus neoforms that is the true yeast and saccharomyces also uh, that is the true yeast yeast like fungus are the actually uh, they could be present into the yeast form round cells can be seen or along with this they can produce the pseudo hyphae <coughs> like candida and molds are the long branching filamentous form that called the hyphae the hyphae could be septate or non septate also dimorph fungus are the fungus where the fungus could be present into the yeast form as well as the hyphal form and fungus can be classified on two bases of growth pattern in culture media like aerial mycelium and vegetative mycelium aerial mycelium is the when the mycelium projects away from the above the surface of culture media like culture media mein if the fungus grows above the surface that is the aerial mycelium and we if it is go, grows on the surface uh, vegetative mycelium is the part of mycelium that grows on the surface of the uh, culture media actually so aerial above the surface of culture media and vegetative on the surface of culture media dimorphic fungus exist in both the form yeast form as well as the hyphal form and the uh, now the morphology this image showing the morphological form of the fungus where first one is the yeast cell round and this is the pseudo hyphae picture where you can see the elongated yeast cell along that they can produce the pseudo hyphae and that could be seen in the candida this is the a picture which is showing the aseptic hyphae there is no septa or demarcation line is seen septic hyphae this is shown in the uh, lower one second image and this is the bunch of hyphae that gives the uh, form of the mycelial form that you can see the septate hyphae they are present in the bunch bunch form and then gives the mycelium formation 
this is the taxonomic classification of fungus where it can be classified into four phylum zygomycota ascomycota basidiomycota and deuteromycota this is the fungal spore form and the fungal various fungus which is produced by the different fungus group and the fungal disease we can have the superficial mycosis where the skin hair nail and mucosa in, involved and the fungus which can cause is uh, dermatophyte malassezia exophylla pedra or trichosporon also subcutaneous mycosis when the superficial fungi of soil or decaying vegetation introduce in body reducing the local tissue destruction and sinus formation it include the mycetoma chromoblastomycosis sporotrichosis rhinosporidesis also and third one is the systemic mycosis where the is caused by the soil fungi by inhalation and the systemic mycosis affect the various system of the body simultaneously cns bone and other organs also systemic mycosis include blastomycosis paracoccidiomycosis coccidiomycosis histoplasmosis cryptomycosis also now the viruses general property of virus virus are the smallest unicellular organism and they are obligate intracellular organism especially the obligate means they can multiply inside the cell only and the viruses are the most primitive microorganism which infect the human being and they possess either dna or rna but not both the uh, nucleic acid present they can be the dna virus or rna virus we can classify in that way and smaller than the bacteria they can pass through the filter or bacterial filter and they cannot be grown on artificial cell free media and also these are the some of the characteristic uh, characteristic which are differentiating virus from the bacteria and the virus entire viral particle is termed as the uh, entire virus particle is termed as the virion where the nucleic acid is the central core which is surrounded by the capsid and uh, outside the capsid is the envelope which is the optional structure in the bacterial uh, cell uh, oh, sorry viral cell structure viruses have only one type of nucleic acid either dna or rna they are classified as dna virus and rna virus nucleic acid of virus could be single or double stranded circular or linear could be the shape and segmented or unsegmented also most dna virus possess the double stranded dna except the parvo virus which is single stranded dna virus and rna virus possess the single stranded only and sing, uh, the single stranded rna except the rio virus and retrovirus rio virus present, uh, possess the double stranded rna and retrovirus which is the hiv virus is again possess the two copies of single stranded rna this is the capsid which is present uh, uh, composed of a number of repeated protein subunit called the capsomers and the function of the capsid it protects the nucleic acid core from external environment that i already told to you and the symmetry symmetry now after the uh, this virus class, uh, nucleic acid the symmetry is also imp important the virus have the three type of symmetry icosahedral symmetry helical symmetry or complex symmetry this is uh, how the icosahedral or cubical symmetry virus look like and icosahedral symmetry uh, is having actually the capsomers are arranged as if they lay on the faces of an icosahedron 20 triangular facets and 12 corner of vertex are there example are all dna virus and most of rna virus have the icosahedral symmetry helical symmetry is shown in the picture where the nucleic acid is core is the helical structure having helical symmetry capsomers are coiled surrounding the nucleic acid in the form of helix or spiral flexible structure could be there rna virus such as myxovirus and rhabdovirus and filovirus and bunia virus are the example complex symmetry uh, uh, the virus which possesses the complex symmetry example is the pox virus 
viruses have the envelope also which is the optional structure which is present some of the viruses only and the envelope surrounding the nucleic acid port nucleocapsid portion which is the central core that having the nucleic acid as well as the capsid you can see in this picture the central core this one is the nucleic acid and this uh, icosahedron is the capsid and outside this is the round structure is the envelope and this envelope is the lipoprotein in nature and the lipid part of this is derived from the host cell and protein part is the virus codein and, and most viruses are envelope except the non envelope dna virus which is the parvovirus adenovirus and papovirus non envelope rna virus are the picona virus rio virus calci virus hepatitis a virus and hepatitis e virus now the size of virus size of virus varies from the uh, 20 to 300 nanometer in size and the 20 nanometer is the size of smallest virus which is the parvo virus and the largest size of the virus is the pox virus the size is around 300 nanometer and because of its small size virus can pass through the bacterial filter and they cannot be visualized under the microscope this is the various viruses uh, size according to increasing size is, is shown in the picture parvo virus is the smallest one you can see in this one and at the end is the smallpox virus or pox virus which is the largest size virus and the shape of virus the shape of virus most of the viruses are roughly spherical with some exceptions are there like rabies virus which is bullet shaped ebola virus which is filamentous virus pox virus which is brick shaped adenovirus the structure uh, shape is like a space vehicle shape uh, and the rota virus which is wheel shape virus and tmv or tobacco mosaic virus is the rod shape virus and the viruses differ from uh, virioids or prions or virucides also and the prions are uh, virioids are the comprise of naked circular small single stranded rna without a capsid only nucleic acid is there and which is single stranded rna they are termed as the virioid there is no capsid and the prions or consist of abnormal infectious protein molecule without the nucleic acid and they are highly resistant to the physical and chemical agents produce the neurogenerative conditions of the brain in human being this is the dna virus list family i am going to uh, telling not the character of each individual family family herpes viridi hepedna viridi parvo viridi and papova viridi pox viridi and adeno viridi and picona viridi uh, uh, sorry adeno viridi these are the dna virus and rna virus include the picona viridi calci viridi toga viridi flavi viridi corona viridi rhabdo viridi phylo viridi para mixo viridi ortho mixo viridi bunia viridi arena viridi rio viridi retro viridi and uh, this is the last one is the whole after the classification of virus and i am finishing my lecture with uh, in this lecture i have summarizing i have discussed about the morphology of bacteria virus fungus and parasite along with this i have covered the classification and uh, you go uh, and some of the disease of the parasites and viruses as i already mentioned in the tables and but individual disease we'll discuss later on and now i am finishing my topic and thank you so much for being the lecture thank you